Hi everyone, this is Colin from Gigabyte. Now some of you probably remember a few years ago, we actually launched our X58A UD9 motherboard. Now in order to promote this motherboard, we had a new power delivery system called Unlocked Power. And we were actually able to show up to 1500 watts of power uh, delivery through the motherboard. Now two years have gone by and we wanted to show you that we've actually done quite a lot of improvement on our motherboard design. So we wanted to see if we can actually break this 1500 watts of power record. So in front of me today I have a new motherboard that we haven't launched quite yet. It's called the Z77 uh, XUP7. So this motherboard is a little unique because it has up to 36 power phases. Uh, 32 power phases are actually providing power delivery to the CPU. Now these power phases are also unique in that it supports our Ultra Durable 5 technology. Now this means that we're actually using power stages from IR that are able to deliver up to 60 amps of power each um, and we're using 32 of them. So we should be able to provide much more power uh, delivery in the motherboard. Now obviously if you're, you're going to be using, you know, showing 1500 watts of power, this isn't really a real world case. You can't actually plug a CPU into the motherboard and provide that much power because obviously your, your CPU is going to burn out. But what we're showing is a proof of concept that we actually design our motherboards to withstand much higher uh, power draw. So this means that actually in real world testing, you're able to provide much more stable power to the CPU and you're able to provide better performance for overclocking. So in front of me today, I have some DC current machines here. So what I'm first going to try to do is see if we can actually get the 1500 watts of power delivery through the UP7 motherboard. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the loading on these two machines. So we're at 300 amps for this machine, and I'm going to increase the loading for this machine, so it's at 300 amps. And we also have a, a voltage sensor, so we're at 2.56 volts. So 300 and 300 is 600. To get wattage, we multiply that by voltage, 2.56. So as you can see, we have slightly over 1,500 watts of power delivery for our UP7 motherboard. So as you can see, we actually matched our old record of 1,500 watts of power. So to compare the UD9 motherboard versus the UP7 motherboard, you know, the UD9 motherboard had only 24 power phases, whereas the UP7 motherboard has 32, like I said. Also, the UD9 motherboard had Ultra Durable 3 technology versus our UP7, which has our Ultra Durable 5 technology. So we want to see if we can actually beat this 1500 watts of power using our UP7. So let's see here in front of me, I'm going to increase the loading. So 300, 300, and add the loading here to about 2.36, 2.36, so 836 times 2.42, that's 2,000 watts. So that's a new world record for our Gigabyte Z77X UP7 motherboard, being able to deliver up to 2,000 watts of power. Now of course you're not going to want to try this at home, like I said before, but what this does show is that our motherboard is able to support much higher power current. This means that you're actually able to have better, more stable power delivery and you're actually able to overclock at higher uh, speeds because you can actually add more power to the CPU. So there you have it, that's our new Z77X UP7 motherboard and our new Ultra Durable 5 technology, being able to deliver up to 2000 watts of power.